Greetings. Okay, so this is just going to be a Taurus reading. So we're almost out of the Taurus season. So I figured I'd do another reading for my Tauruses or anyone that has Taurus placements in their chart. I will be doing a giveaway for Sun Sign Tauruses. So, um, yeah, because I kind of fell off of that every week thing. So I'm just going to probably do two giveaways, um, two free giveaway reads for Tauruses, my fellow Tauruses. All right, so let's tap in and see what's going on with you guys. What is going on with Tauruses, Holy Spirit? What is the energy surrounding my Tauruses? The way I lay my cards out might be a little bit funny, okay? Just because of how my camera is angled. So, hope you guys don't mind. Page of Swords. As long as you guys can see them with me, that's all that matters, okay? As long as y'all can see them. Okay. Interesting. Judgment. Whoa, that Six of Pentacles really wanted to come out, but it is in reverse for some reason, but we're going to see. We're going to see. Nine of Pentacles was trying to hide. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. All right, what's going on? Okay. So, I do feel like there's some important communication coming your way. Okay could be some type of um, information or news you've been waiting for. I am seeing something potentially with court for some of you or something that is going to be ruled in your favor. It's like you've been kind of on pins and needles about this. Um, I feel like spirit wants you to get out of like this anxious energy. You might be a little bit, um, you're anticipating this. So it cause, may cause you a little bit of anxiety, worry, like the excitement of waiting for some type of correspondence to come in. But you are going to get it. Flex Spirit is preparing you for some type of an apology for some of you or sorry to keep you waiting. Sorry this took so long to get back to you. It's an email. Maybe for, it's, I feel like for some of you, it is an official, maybe some type of letter from the from court or the state or something for some of you. For others of you, it's like, this could be someone that is an air sign I'm getting. An air sign person that comes in and apologizes to you or they reach out to you with something that's long overdue. The justice card. I feel like this person did something that warrants this apology or if it's something with like the state or the, the government, something like that with a correspondence. It's like it is inevitable. It has to. This correspondent needs to come. This message, this this letter for some of you could be an email, this message, whatever it is. If it's a person, like a specific person, not an entity, like a governmental thing or something like that, um, or an office or staff or something, it's a person specifically, a personal situation, a personal correspondence. It has nothing to do with officials, government, business, nothing like that. This is a personal thing where this person may um, owe something to you. Something is due to you. This person comes in with the right intentions. It may feel like, oh, I don't know if I can trust this. But they do have the right intentions. The judgment card. The judgment card, I feel like, again, someone feels convicted to be honorable, to be just, to be truthful, okay? And if this is something to do with, like, an entity or a court, something like that is inevitable. It has to happen. It's like this sets you free. This could be a karmic thing, like a karmic. This is your sign to let you know that whatever you've been dealing with, whatever this was that you were anxious about or to receive or to hear back from or about, whatever this is, I feel like once you receive it, it like it frees you of some type of karmic cycle. Um, could be a karmic debt for some of you. Could be centered around money, something that you were due. This person was withholding something from you. If it's not money, some type of asset. Or it's like this person being generous. They were withholding something that you deserved. And I feel like it's this person here. This person was being greedy or holding on to something that you needed. 
or if this is like a justice system they were withholding some type of finances or something from you or someone else is holding money from you or keeping something of value a job maybe you got laid off i'm getting for some of you guys had an injury i don't know why i'm getting that but some of you guys may have not been able to work and your job laid you off even though they were not you know according to the laws or the rules or the policy they weren't supposed to lay you off I don't know why I heard incentive, incentive, something. I don't know if I'm saying the right word. But for some of you guys, it is work. That this is like a corporate job for some of you. Courts. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, masculine energy involved in all of this, this person was withholding money from you. For others of you, this is someone that I feel like was just being stingy with their energy with the six of pentacles here you this could be your position here they didn't want to give you something maybe they told you you made too much or something and they didn't want to give you something even though you were old or do something here someone could have been withholding something of value to you it could be your morals your standards something that is a moral thing or just common decency of some sort you know what i mean because they felt like you were high and mighty or, oh, I'm not giving it to them. They don't deserve it. Some of you guys, it's your father that you have to face or confront. And this person may have not been very active in your life, something financially or very stingy parent with money. You guys are supporting with you getting what you are owed, even if this person doesn't come around in the way that you feel that they should or that you think you deserve or what is deserved. Spirit is going to provide. You're never going to be without. Spirit says whatever this is, but this person did not give to you. Spirit wants you to know that regardless, something, something, mm, I feel, how do I explain this? Because I'm getting like a lot of downloads right now and I'm just trying to make it make sense. <laughs> I feel like for some of you, your spiritual team is going to like soften someone's heart. And I got this message. I don't know if I already posted that message today or not. I don't remember. I know I recorded it yesterday, but I don't know when I posted it to go public because I scheduled it to go public. And I don't know if it was today for, for today or for tomorrow. I don't remember. But soften someone's heart to give to you what you deserve to be given. It's like maybe some type of favor where they usually don't do things this way or they might be going bending the rules just a little bit, but it's for the favor of you. Yeah. But I feel like you, you're you hopeful that the truth is going to prevail or that you are going to get the justice you receive, that the truth is going to come forth to you or you're going to get that clarity or that breakthrough that you've been praying for and asking for. And I do believe that you are going to receive that. Virgo season, I feel like for sure, maybe mid-fall for some of you, but you got to release this. You got to let it go. You can't be too fixated on this. With the, eight, or the nine of pentacles right here you are going to get that payout that is inevitable um spirit may be one of you this month or this week excuse me maybe this is a monthly message for somebody or it goes into next month whenever you watch this it could be timeless um not for those of you that are a part of the giveaway but just this message period with the three of cups in reverse you may want to evaluate people you have in your circle this is going to give you a revelation about certain people that you have in your circle Okay, you may want to evaluate these people. For some of you, it is a relationship or someone that you wanted a relationship, but you just wanted things to maybe work out in a sense of just coexisting. For some of you, maybe co-parenting, I'm hearing. For others of you, uh, just being able to be cordial and just be cool and move on. Okay, at least that. All right, let's look at the love energy. So for some of you, air energy, definitely strongly Libra energy, Aries energy, um, maybe some 
Aquarius energy here, Virgo, Taurus, maybe Capricorn, Cancer for sure, maybe Scorpio or Pisces. So let's get into the love energy. Shout out to Rose Bay again for gifting me these cards. They are not for sale. She just made them and sent me a deck and I appreciate it. Seven of Wands flew out of the deck. You are dealing with a difficult situation or person. Someone that you have a child with for some of you. Yeah, the Sun card. Page of Wands. You are going to get a correspondence or message about this. Three of Swords. Three of Hearts. Yeah, something that has been wearing and tearing on you, twin flame. So for some of you, it is someone that you believe to be your twin flame or someone that you have a, a strong bond with that you're waiting to hear back from. For some of you, you reached out to this person. Maybe you told this person how you felt. You may feel like this was not reciprocal, okay? For some of you, you told this person how you felt. You delivered a message. You sent them an email, a text message, an instant message, maybe for some of you, a letter. There's three hearts here, so this could have been a third-party situation. I'm noticing in the Seven of Wands, there's three hearts. Three of hearts, three of swords with those three spirit babies. And then in the Twin Flame card, three hearts. So this could have been a love triangle. This person could have had someone else. Or you found out that this person had someone else or they have someone else. Maybe this person had a baby with someone else. Or you found out about a pregnancy. What is this energy? Holy Spirit. What is this energy? The Eight of Hearts. Eight of Cups. Yeah, this person did something that broke your heart. Maybe the last moon. The last. Okay, so it could have been... You didn't have all the information about something with this person. Maybe they left you no choice but to walk away. There's a lot of hearts here. So it could be water energy. You could be dealing with the water sign. But um, if not, this there was a lot of heavy emotions, a lot of deep emotions. But I feel like you were kind of waiting over your head about this king of wands. Someone that is very creative and artsy. Or they could be someone that is known for some type of creative ability, skill, uh, gift. Maybe they do paint, they draw, or something like that. It could be a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like for some of you, they're just very creative. Or this could be your energy. Four of hearts. Yeah, this person hurt you. It kind of, to you, you felt like, either you felt like this person loved you, of course, like you felt that they loved you back. But then you felt whatever you discovered, it made you feel like it proved that maybe they really didn't or something. Even if that's true or it's not true, that's how you felt. And or it could be for some of you, you felt like you really love this person and you hope that they did as well. And then something showed you that maybe they don't really love me or something like that I'm getting. I do get a feeling that this person did care about you they may even still care about you like it was a mutual connection but this person has a lot of confusion around their crown chakra i feel like you knew that this person was someone that you loved and you cared about um but something here there was something unclean with that moth moths eat away at cloth so there was something eating away at someone here this person could have some hidden guilt even yet and still that they didn't take a love offer with you or that they didn't honor what they already had with you with the white buffalo it says i shall keep my eyes open for you so someone is still watching whether this is you and or the person one of you was still watching the other and keeping an eye out on them because there's still love here there's still feelings there's something with the eyes maybe this person likes your eyes you're very wise even if you are young page of swords came out again yeah this could be the person in the general message for some of you that I was picking up um, this person, a person reaching out to you and apologizing with the Page of Swords. This person may have been wearing a mask with you, kind of an egotistical uh, mask, being fake and phony, trying to you know keep up with everybody else, try to pretend that they didn't care or that it's something that this person was putting on. And I feel like this person may tell you this. At the bottom of the deck, you have the red string of fate. 
So there's something that is unfinished between the two of you that is pulling you guys back. It could be a soul tie. You have Mars. This person could be a fire sign in Aries or just very strongly in masculinity or you're asking about a masculine. The high priestess is at the bottom of the red string of fate. So there's something that you know is something that you are anticipating or expecting like i said it's an anxiousness in that other reading but take it as it applies the red string of fate like i said it could be some type of soul tie between the two of you i don't know if it's unhealthy or if it is a healthy but um a healthy soul tie or it's unhealthy but there's something that's pulling you guys back together not i can't say necessarily like pulling you back together to be together but more so something that is unfinished here that you guys have unfinished business so maybe around Leo season for some of you, this may be significant. So I'm going to pull for my own homemade oracle cards just to see if there's any spiritual messages that we need from our spiritual team at this time. Anything that we need to know from our spiritual team, Holy Spirit. Wow. Okay, the agents and the mantle of marriage. You may have had some people in the middle of your connection trying to kind of separate you. There's a marriage that is ordained to be or to happen, and there could have been some agents in like third energies, like friends, family, baby mamas, baby daddies, exes, side dudes, side chicks, whatever, just some type of inner interference here could also be divine. Um, this divine connection for some of you. Or that you are to, some of you guys, you are meant to get married. I can't say to whom. I don't want to like push that because everybody is different. You guys are all unique. So I have to be very wise with what I say because people just watch videos and then they take it as it's their own. You know, they don't use their spiritual discernment. So I have to be careful with what I say. Someone is here. They Someone here has the the promise and the blessing of a beautiful marriage here divine union but this these agents these could be spiritual agents as well unprecedented favor because your connection whether it's the one i tapped into or just period for those of you who are meant to receive this with your ears use your discernment take this with the divine i take it to the divine you guys the unprecedented favor card came out so it's like a door this this union would open the door to many beautiful promises and blessings request a petition so maybe you guys might need to write out a prayer or to your spiritual team god wants to hear what you god is listening to your prayers in case you're wondering you have the cherubim which helps with the direction of things so Ask your spiritual team to help you and direct you and guide you. Petition, they will listen to you. They will listen to your request, your petition, or your prayer. You're not being ignored. Prophetic message, and you're going to receive a message from the divine that you can trust. It's a message from the divine that you can trust, okay? And again, here we are, but there's a third confirmation that there will be a there will be a correspondence or message or something that comes to you this is the third confirmation of that so or fourth actually because you had the page of swords you had the page of wands and i think you had the page of swords again yes you had the page of swords twice in two different decks you had the um page of wands that had a letter on it an envelope on it and you have this so that is your confirmation for some of you all right so the rules are for the two winners for the giveaway you must be a tourist sun sign i'm not playing with y'all do not be funny or phony with that you must be a tourist sign um for this giveaway this free reading giveaway please leave a tourist emoji only once per person only once per person leave it in the comment section put one emoji for one person each okay and I will go ahead and do a giveaway soon. I'll probably announce it on Monday. So much love as always. You guys be blessed. Be safe. Take care.